Hi everybody, welcome back to session two uh, of our cooking skills classes. Today we're going to be making some traditional Scottish shortbread. So again, make sure that you're ready to cook, with your apron on, hair tied up, hands washed. Uh, make sure your work surface is nice and clean and tidy and you've got all of your ingredients which is butter, caster sugar and plain flour and make sure you've got all your equipment so you will need two mixing bowls, um, wooden spoon for stirring, uh, a spoon, just a normal uh, mixing spoon and a butter knife as well as your baking tray with grease proof paper. Okay, and some weighing scales, obviously. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure you've turned your oven on to gas mark 5 or 190 degrees Celsius. So I've turned mine on, uh, that's just heating up. Then what we're going to do next is to weigh out our sugar. So take your smaller bowl out of the two mixing bowls, onto your weighing scales, make sure that it is showing zero on your scales uh, so we're not weighing the bowl as well take our sugar okay and we're going to weigh out um 55 grams of caster sugar so we can start off like this okay and we can see then where we're at so i've gone a little bit over so we take a clean spoon take some out there we go put that back in the bag and we've got 55 grams of our sugar. Pop that now into our larger bowl, our mixing bowl. Okay, bowl back on the scales, and this time we'll measure out our butter. So we want 125 grams of butter. I've got my butter here. I've let it come up to room temperature so it's a little bit softer to work with. So I'm going to take my knife, I'm going to chop off just a bit at the edge of the butter. Okay, and we'll pop that into our bowl. Okay, so I'm at 75, so I need a little bit more. There we go. A bit more. Perfect. Okay, so 125 grams of butter. Okay. Take our butter, pop that in with our sugar. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to mix together our butter and our sugar first of all. So put that a good mix. So it might be quite, if butter's still a bit tough, it might be a little bit hard to so use the back of the spoon and just squash it against the side of the bowl. Okay. And keep doing that. Keep mixing it until you get a nice smooth buttery sugary paste. And you shouldn't be able to see any of the sugar in the bowl, it should just all come into a nice paste. So, take a few minutes. Keep stirring. Okay. And eventually, you should have a nice paste like this. Give it a tap, make sure there's no sugar left around the sides. And you've got a nice creamy. Um, sugary butter. Okay, pop that to one side. Next, we need to weigh out our flour. So I've got my ingredient weighing bowl. Pop that on scales, make sure it still says zero, which it does. And we want 180 grams of plain flour. So we'll start pouring that in. Okay, 180 grams. One side, okay, and again we add our flour into our mixing bowl. Add that in, make sure it's all in, okay, and then we give this a stir. So the secret with shortbread is you don't want to overwork it, but we still want obviously all the flour to be mixed in with the butter. So we keep stirring. Get right to the edges, give the bowl a little tap every now and again, just helps bring the flour back down into the butter. Just keep squashing, keep stirring. Might seem like it's really dry at the moment, 
we will get there. So, keep stirring. After a while, we can put our spoon down and get our hands in there, okay? So we start squashing it together with our hands. Just try to use your fingertips. Okay, almost like you're making breadcrumbs. I don't know if you've done that before, if you're doing like an apple crumble. Um, so you're just squashing it together using the tips of your fingers rather than your palms. See, my palms are fairly clean. Fingertips are not so clean. So just keep squashing that together. And this should make a really crumbly shortbread. So shortbread should be very buttery, very crumbly. Um, not like a, not, not too dense. Okay, so you can see, we get in there. Yeah, some nice, almost like breadcrumbs, I suppose. So any big bits of butter you might find, just keep pinching them, working them through your fingers. Um, just like you're sort of just tickling it together. Rub it through so you can scrape it across your fingers like that. Just nice and light and airy. Okay. So, I think that is almost done. So it should be fairly dry. Okay. So what you're going to do then, take your mixture into your baking tin. I'm just going to pour it in. Pour it in, as I say, it looks like it's really dry, it's not going to work, but it will. Spread that around and then squash it down using your hand or you can use the back of your spoon. Okay, and just squash it down into all the corners of your tin. Try and get it nice and even. you're happy with that I think it looks fairly flat and even not too crumbly okay it shouldn't move around you can then you're ready then to put that into the oven okay so when you're putting things into the oven make sure you use oven gloves or a heat proof tea towel and that's going to go in the oven now for about 15 to 20 minutes um be worth checking it sort of around 10 15 minute mark just to see how it's getting on and I'll come back to you in a second Okay, so my shortbread has been in the oven for 15 minutes. Um, I've just checked it and it looks like it is done. So I'm going to take out the oven. Oven gloves or I have a heat proof tea towel. Uh, if you need help at this point then please ask. Be very careful. Obviously the oven is hot. So, my shortbread out. Turn the oven off. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see on here, but you can tell when your shortbread is ready because it's going nice and golden around the edges um, with a slight golden hint on top. So I've put it onto another of my tea towels because you don't want to put hot things straight onto the work surface, obviously. So at this point, be careful not to touch. It's very hot. But with a traditional shortbread like this, you want to make some little scores. You're not going to cut all the way through at this point. You're just going to do some lines through your shortbread because this, once it cools, will help you be able to snap the shortbread off into your biscuits. So I'm not sure if you can see, I'll do another line here. Just little marks, so I'm not cutting all the way through, I can't feel the bottom of the tin. I'm just doing a few marks in there. And you do this whilst it's still hot, warm because um, you wouldn't be able to put the marks in once it cools down because it sets hard then. Okay, so we've got our markers in there. The other thing that's quite nice to do is get a little bit more caster sugar um, and just sprinkle a little bit on top. Okay, not too much, just a pinch. And we sprinkle that on top of the shortbread there. Okay, so there we have it. It's our shortbread. We just need to wait for that to cool. Once it's cool, take it out of the tin and we just snap the biscuits off 
and they're ready to eat. But allow it a good half an hour or so to, to cool down and, and firm up. Okay, hope you enjoy and I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.